Yeah, no doubt. I mean, to, to me, and I'm not saying it just because we're on this week, but uh, I mean, they, they're. I, I think they're the best team we've placed at Michigan State. I mean, I really do. They're, they're that good defensively. They're balanced offensively. I mean, the, the thing that uh, this quarterback does that, uh, you know, and he's an Alabama guy, you know, played at Pratt for him. Uh, he, he throws it a lot better than what EKU's got through it. You know, an EKU guy could run it. This guy can throw it and run it. And uh, they get good running backs. They get good players everywhere. And uh, they did have a tough road. I mean, I think if you look probably at FCS scheduling, the strength of schedule, they'd have to be in the top ten in the country. I mean, they, they played Minnesota, they played Ohio, they ever ever FCS team they played out of conference is ranked, you know, and probably a playoff team. So they had a tough start. I mean, and really coming off the year that they had, you know, last year and the run that they had and losing Garoppolo and losing some of those folks and coming into the year and a new coaching staff and such a tough schedule early, this team could have folded their tents easily. And I, I take my hat off to that coaching staff of, if hold it in the road and those players, you know, uh, knowing how to play at a championship level, I think, and, and knowing, you know, winning the conference the last two years and being as good as they've been and to make it through the, the dismal start that they had to be at the point where they are right now, winning four straight and, and uh, still having a chance to, you know, to possibly win the conference, you know, so our share of it anyway is, is a great thing for that football team. And uh, they're, they're bought into that. And uh, when you watch them on tape, they're playing – uh, like a team that they're playing, looks like they're playing for their life, because they are, and they're bought in. They know if they lose a the game, they're out. They they can't they can't get in the playoffs. So they're fighting. They're like they're backed in the. You got a bear backed in the corner, and and they're fighting for life. And, and they look like that everywhere. They're very uh, play with a lot of energy. Uh, they play with a lot of sense of urgency. I guess is what you, what you would say. And uh, like I said, they're a dangerous football team. They, and they got a good football team. They really do. And I think you could take me and Coach Hood talked about that. You know, before kickoff, you know, Saturday, I think uh, there's not a lot of difference in, you know, EKU and EIU and Jacksonville State. I mean, I think we're the three best teams in our conference. I think if you take any one of our three teams and put it in, you know, probably half the conferences in the, in the country, any one of us three win, win a lot of conference championships. And, uh, and I really believe that. That's how much respect I have for EKU and EIU. And our players do. I mean, they they know. You know, you, know, you can't you can't fool them. They, they they don't really you know look at who we're playing for as it dictates how we prepare. I think we're very bought into how we prepare during the week and and how we handle business when we go to practice and mentally. But uh, you know, they know yeah, you has got a good football team. You know, we ain't gonna have, they ain't gonna look at their record. I guarantee you they ain't gonna look see if they how many losses they've got or how many wins they've got. They they flip on the tape and look just like I can, and they see a good football team. I think so. They're right there with EKU and Chattanooga. Uh, I mean, I think that's the three outside of Michigan State, uh, who to me is still one of the best defenses in the country. Uh, I think at the FBS level, uh, those three are definitely the three best defenses. You know, we've played. Look at AAU. They're not giving up many points. You know, uh, you know, especially in conference play, they're not giving up a lot of points. So uh, they're they're good defensively, and they've got a solid football team. King game. You know, they got a good king game. So special teams, they do a great job. Uh, you know, and offensively, like I said, they, they can throw the football and get some receivers, and uh, but they run the ball too, you know. So it's uh, – they're balanced. And uh, like I said, defensively, they're the fastest defense I think that we've played um, definitely since Michigan State. They can run now. They're, they're fast. And they're not small either. they they got some size too. But they're, they're when you flip on the tape, they, they can run defensively. Coach, it's senior day. We have 19 seniors. Played a total of 489 games. I know you were here two years of it. They got a chance to be our winningest class that's moving to Division One. Just talk a little bit. Wow, I didn't know that. I mean, that's that's good. That's Sorry, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty special. No pressure, right? But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, enough pressure around this game anyway. But you know, I'm just proud of them. I, I mean, just uh, number one to handle me, it, being their third coach in three years. You know, it just it, you know they're they're uh, Brazilian. I'll say that. And they're Jack State, you know, uh, players. I mean, and they, they will be for life. And you know, I, I appreciate how they've handled change and how they've adapted. And, you know, to, to be the winningest class, to go through what they have went through and handle all that, you know, that change is, is a statement in itself just to, if they wouldn't have went through all that, been the winningest class. But there is some child you guys can talk about. Um, 
with it being senior day, it's uh it's really big for us with it being like the last regular season home game for us. We we take it it really serious because all of us just we came in as brothers and like the love between us right now is just I've never been on a team with as much camaraderie as we have right now. Like we treat each other just like brothers. We push each other on and off the field to make a play or just to go to class. We know how big it is. We know when we leave here, there's still going to be a bond with each other, and we want to be able to continue to have that brotherhood. So we look to see each other being great men when we leave Jacksonville State, but also be able to come back together years to come and look back at our accomplishments and just be thankful for having a great coach like Coach Gross and just having a great group of guys to come in with you and just stick with you for the four or five years you've been here. Um, it's going to be a real emotional day because it's going to be our last regular season game. Like with Cal Sam, we all came in together. We've been, we've been close ever since. And uh, for us to go out for the, our last game at home in front of our, our home crowd, our fans, family, and friends, it would be, um, wouldn't be any better to be with these guys. Because we, we all, that's what we play. We play for each other. It's a family. It's all we have. We build our program around family, brotherhood. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna get start talking about the sentimental part. I get choked up talking about because they do love one another. There's a lot of camaraderie. I, I I I go on the louder side. You know, when we had homecoming a couple of weeks ago, you know, and we're about to run out. I told a few of them standing behind me. I can't remember saying. I said, look, see them guys in helmets with the, that, those O's and G's painted on shit. That's y'all in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so when you come back, we expect that from you in, uh, in homecoming. But uh, this class has done a great job. I mean, I think that that one stat right there tells tells it all about them. But uh, like I said, just um, just proud of them. What was the question? I'm sorry. No, I was going to say to the two seniors again. Coach mentioned everything y'all going through in your four years here is your third coach in three years. Has that, how much of a role has that played in you guys being so close together? That, that played a big role because we all had to come together as seniors to, to be the leaders of the team. So without <coughs> us, like a lot of stuff wouldn't go as smooth as it does and the coaches. Because when they're not in the locker room, so we have to be coach and govern ourselves when they're not around. So with that, that being said, that's the, that's the major part, leadership role. Yeah, to have um, a big another big thing for us is also with, uh, having a guy fair man come in to help you and not just looking at his football, to, but being a great person off the field. Just that really helped us because a lot of guys, in three different coaches in so many years, the first thing you'll want to do is just maybe act different, or act out of your character. But when you get a man like Coach Gross to come in, first thing we work through with his character and everybody just. Focus on that one goal, and then we went from there to football to get the task done. And just, it really helped us and picked us up to a point where we knew we had someone who cared. So we just thankful for having a guy like Coach Ross. We're looking for a lot of practice on the UT. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't pay to say that. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it. It, it. it does show you how close our team is, so, and, and they really. Uh, I don't think a lot of teams want to have love on their team, but I think we. That's the word to describe our team. We got a lot of love on our team, and had a lot of fun too. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. I mean, it just it really is. It's a lot of work goes into this game, and you know when you have that and you have a little fun doing it along the way too, it makes it makes you enjoyable. I, I don't think our guys dread you know, coming to practice or coming to the field house. It's, uh, you know, they enjoy it, you know. I mean, sometimes we have to run them out of here, you know. So <laughs> they, they enjoy being here.